Uh, it's 26 degrees. Loading in in my ankle high socks. Wish you were here. All right, I feel like a mad scientist here. Looking forward to working together tomorrow. So um, we have three cameras. We'll never be rolling all three at the same time. We're gonna have uh, some two camera work and then we're also gonna do some gimbal um, and we may just direct patch that so it's not on the quad split when we're in gimbal mode, but just for the sake of explanation, there's your three cameras. Um, when we're doing these demos, we're going to run an Amira on talent, audio will go to the Amira. And then I've got an FX9 that's gonna be a close up on product or hands. That's got an onboard mic. And then we're gonna run a red BNC between these two cameras to keep them time code jammed. And then I've got two green BNCs SDI out of each camera. That's going to flow over to the director's cart here into a quad split. Um, I want to try to get through this week without breaking any BNC connectors. So on the camera side and the cart side, try to be diligent about tying off the cables if you're the one doing the repatch. And then, um, so we go into the quad split into the A input on this monitor. It loops out of this monitor to a transmitter. We're going to do some gimbal shots, particularly tomorrow morning. Single camera. The other two won't be in play. And then we'll wrap away the gimbal and we'll go back to these two cameras. Uh, this guy's, the mirrors are rolling wheels. The FX9, I don't know if it's gonna be on sticks or we may go on the mini jib, which is back here. Not really to do jib moves. It's more uh, if we gotta get like tabletop up and over head. I've got that on standby. It's a quick switch to hop on and off. I've got two rolling stands with Geminis and uh, these are snap bags and then I've also got the grids if we need them. I don't know, we might throw the bags on in the morning. They each have a 25 foot head feeder. <laughs> Hold on, stop. Oh, I guess that kind of cleaned it off. Anywhere there's a drift, it's pure ice. This is weird. Trees look cool. So wait, is this really your first time in the snow? Yeah, well, snow, snow. Crazy. This little truck's doing well. Front wheel drive only. Because the plumbing is metal pipe, when the water sits for several days, the corrosion on the pipe the sediment gets into the water and then it clogs up the cartridges and the faucets so like if the faucet runs for a bit and then slows down the cold really bad yeah that's tasty looking water it's like a brownish yellow Hotel by the airport. It's not raining at the moment. I hope we can load in before it starts raining. 
working on a little three camera interview today. Got two Amiras for our close ups. And then uh, there's an FX9 on a slider. I'm not the DP today. I'm playing uh, gaffer and cam up. Gino on sound. So we got um, two key lights rigged overhead. And then we got two Geminis with snap bags. That 10% is fill. And then we got some green sponsor light ship lighting. They're not on right now. Strategically placed throughout the backgrounds and foreground. All good, looking good. Doing a little bit of equipment testing here in the garage for production that starts tomorrow. Gonna be shooting some segments for a Canadian TV show, um, interview driven. And uh, we're gonna run two cameras, a mirror will be primary, and uh, FX9 is secondary. If I had both my mirrors available, I would have just shot it both on a mirror. The show actually called for FX9s, but um, always when I can prefer to shoot Ari because, well, frankly, it looks better with less effort. <laughs> um, so we're going to send a Zoom feed uh, back to the person that's conducting the interview. They're straight to the lens style uh, eyeline. Uh, I haven't done a Zoom feed in a couple of months and I always get nervous when I haven't done them in a while because there's so many cables, boxes, computer settings. My Mac has done an update since the last time I did it and like all of these fail points. I, uh, I just bought this for the job in Arkansas, uh, and when was that? February, and it's a you know, quad split, multi-view, four in, one out, all SDI, it passes audio, somehow you can route the audio. So like in a perfect world, I have my A camera, number one, embedded production audio sending to our Zoom call, um, and I, I don't know how to do that, so uh, I was gonna have the Gino sound guy tomorrow figure that out, however, I can't get this thing to, it sends a quad image to the monitor just fine. And then I go loop out of the monitor into my Blackmagic Ultra Studio, which goes to Thunderbolt to feed the zoom call. Uh, direct from either camera, various settings. I'm sending 1080, 5994 right now as the output, even though we're shooting 2398. But irrespective of all the, the project settings, output settings in every case, and what I have the software set to for an input, I always get an image. Things great, super reliable, but it does not like the output from the um, multi view. So, multi view out into the Ultra Studio, I just get black. I have audio, but I have black picture. So, I don't know if that's some of the embedding that's happening here. It, it appears, I gotta dig deeper, but it appears this is outputting 1080 uh, 30p. But if you have any advice for me, I'd love to hear it. All right, so then the output of the MacBook on the Zoom call over HDMI is feeding a teleprompter. This is not framed or focused or exposed proper, but uh, subject will see the uh, person conducting the interview. And then I've got a uh, backlight issues here. It's a little powered speaker that's on the headphone out of my MacBook to send Zoom call audio in the direction of our talent. I can adjust the volume as needed. That will also, obviously, the mics for talent will pick up anything on this side, um, which will be good for reference for editorial, but obviously any questions that are asked here are not going to be used in the edits. And then our FX9, since I can't quad split, I'll do what I've done in the past, which is just before we roll, we'll patch in the B cam angle to get uh, whoever needs to sign off to sign off. And then um, I'll just remotely, I'll monitor that on set since I can't see it remotely. And uh, yeah, well, I'll give you an update tomorrow once we're uh, set up at location.
The Load In Circus Midstream Audio. BIT. Cameras. And I already sent the lighting cart up. I'm the security guard because I got here early, so I get to watch all the gear while everyone parks. Good morning. I'm going to line up our first shot. Uh, this chair would be at the corner. We're going to move the bed and put it like in the corner. There's a cam. So we got the wood paneling, a little bit of drape. We'll close this off so there's no daylight coming through the shears. Um, key light on the right, eye line to the right, and then B cam on the, the fill side, right? And we'll dress that background for B cam. Versus the living room is just kind of beige, bland. Got like the air handler ugliness just a beige wall. Other side's a little cleaner with the wallpaper, but it just looks so hotel sweet. Um, but anyway, this would be a backup angle. And then I've got a couch we could uh, introduce somewhere. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna start here, because I like this wall with no bed in frame. And uh, we'll go from there. What happened there, Gino? I was moving a little too quick this morning and took a little tumble into the bed with Dave. Well, next to Dave. He wanted to be there. How's it look? It's swelling up quite it's a bit. It's pretty good. I should probably put some ice on it. 